Nate Sudfield is trash. We are going to start off the video and the stream like that. Welcome to the Detroit Lions postgame show, week two for preseason. It was a lot of stuff that I saw that I liked, a lot of stuff that I saw that I didn't. The first thing that I'll say, as always, is that Nate Sudfield is trash. Fourth throw of the game is an interception. Now, you can make the argument that our offensive line is absolutely horrific. The backup offensive line. I'm very concerned about offensive line depth, right? Super concerned. Standout of the day, defense, John Kaminsky. Standout of the day on offense, Chase Cota, who, by the way, I feel is the new version of Tom Kennedy. He will make this team. People who went to the background today, Dylan Drummond had several drops. He had two, as a matter of fact. And Antoine Green, pretty much nowhere to be found. Seventh round pick. How I predict this is going to go, Chase Cota gets, he could, he could get number five. He could get number five. We're there, right? And number six is going to come down between maybe Drummond and, and uh, Green. Or it could be somebody on a second, a, a team now that's, that will be on our team later, a receiver. As far as Dan Campbell, people in the comment section telling me that we're okay at wide receiver. Dan Campbell literally said in his press conference that they were actively looking for a receiver. Now, is that guy we did not see? I don't think we saw the guy we, we just picked up the, from the practice squad of the Chargers. Trinity Benson needs to go. We did not get to see Adrian Martinez, but let's focus. We're going to focus on the good and the bad. John Kaminsky, good. Chase Cota, good. Backup offensive line, absolutely horrible. Run game, nowhere to be found. A lot of questions going into preseason game number three. After this game is played on Friday, that Tuesday on the 29th, the day my son starts school, by 4 o'clock, his first day back, we are going to be losing 37 people. Will Craig Reynolds be part of that? It's hard to judge this game and our depth because, A, if you're a receiver, you got Nate Sutfield throwing the ball, and, B, I'll give cut Nate some slack. If you're Nate Sutfield, nobody is blocking for you. Am I mad we lost this game? No, no, I don't. This is, listen. This, the preseason only exists it exists for depth. That's it. So you can see who you have outside of your starters. I made a video about James Houston. Saw a lot of stuff from James Houston. What I know about James Houston, he can't push no 300-pound lineman. He really can't. He can get around him, but he can't push him. A lot of missed tackles by James Houston. When I made my video, I said it was going to be hard for him to make the roster, meaning it wasn't guaranteed for James Houston to make the roster. Does that, do I think he make it? Yeah, I do. But he just not automatically. And what I saw from him today, but he does have effort. He never quits. And, that, and that's something. And he's also a special teamer. Chase Cota, big return, big catch. Only touchdown for the Detroit Lions came on the hands of Chase Cota. Nate Subfield, for everything he is, threw some pretty nice balls. But it takes two interceptions. Shout out to the comment section. It takes two interceptions for, for Nate Subfield to warm up. Going into game three, will we see our starters? I would like to see both the defensive starters, at least one series. There's no joint practice this week, so we might see that. Going into the, the, the offense, I want to see, please, put them out there. Let us see our just one series of Jameer Gibbs, David Montgomery. This offensive line is miserable. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the USFL. Everybody on the team today, Probably belongs on, on the USFL, XFL, right? The preseason is basically a developmental league. That's what it is. To see what you got with the guys that you have outside of your starting 22. Who are the other 22 or, yeah, 22 people, right? 22 plus. Jason Cabinda, drop. Do we need a fullback on this team? Am I upset about the loss? No. Dan Campbell mad. He's mad. He's mad. <laughs> I'm not mad. But it was a lot of good. But the worst thing about this whole game is not even Nate Sutfield. It was the people blocking for him. Craig Reynolds couldn't get anything. The best running back of the day was Benny Snell. 
Jamar Jefferson can. It's hard to gauge. And somebody said it in last week's video. We feel bad for these receivers trying to make the team when our offensive line is not giving Nate Sudfield any time to throw the ball. And when, when they do, he throws a pick. It's hard to judge when you don't in, in game reps, when you don't have quality out there. Our offensive line, we better pray that they don't get hurt, that Big V can finish. That because Matt Nelson, terrible. Effetti, not that we see why he is not a uh, he's a former first round pick and he's 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 kind of a journeyman now. Today was 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 more mistakes. It was more bad than good. But again, John Kaminsky, we can't have we cannot jump off the deep end. This is preseason. We cannot jump off the deep end. OK, preseason is it's like Allen Iverson in a practice rant. Not a game. It's preseason. You know, I had to bring that up. So overall. I see some things that we need to clean up. I'm not as worried as I used to be about the, the interior. Broderick Martin played well. I'm not the interior, us getting gashed up the middle. I'm not as, as concerned as I was last week. But I still, <laughs> people who showed up last week disappeared this week. No Julian, no Romeo. Like Malcolm Rodriguez, he shined. Jack Campbell, he played very well. So we, we have some pieces. We got some good on this team. And it's going to be hard. But what I'll say to you is this, is do not, do not, do not get on the SOL, SOL train. There's no reason for you to be on it. It's a preseason game with a lot of people who's not even going to be on this team. Do you understand we have 90 men on our team and only 53 will be active on game day? Or will be 40, 40, 53 on the roster, 48 active on game day. Like half of these guys won't even be on the team. My concern is the run game, I want to see it. I want to see the run game. I want to see it happen and the backup offensive line. But one thing I do know is that, again, say it with me. Nate Sudfield is trash. And when I wake up tomorrow morning, he needs to be cut. There's no more. There's no more debate. There's no debate. If there was a debate on who would be backup number two, it is no debate. And listen, don't be gullible. Y'all like to correct me in the comment section. Don't have anyone tell you that Nate Sudfield is battling for number two. Okay? This guy, <laughs> Teddy Bridgewater, was offered a contract immediately upon free agency starting. They waited for this guy to get ready. Nate Sudfield is not battling for number two. He's battling not to go to the USFL, all right? Take care of yourself and each other. Relax. It's only the preseason. And as always, go Lions. Except Nate Sudfield.